Okay, today we're going to talk about Mexican food and some of my favorite spots to go to. And these are local, you know, mom and pop shops, little restaurants. And here we're going to get some gorditas. This is rajas and chicharron. And then they also have frijoles and beef steak. And you can get these uh, in a quesadilla or you can get it in a gordita like this. And a gordita is basically like a fat taco. And here we got the different sauces. I go straight for the green one. The green one is it's got a little bit of lime in there. It's kind of zesty and, and hot and it's delicious. And then I just add it as needed. Start off with a little bit. And then just cutting through this is a little bit of a, of a difficulty because it's so thick, the, the, the squardita, that it's difficult to cut through. Sometimes you need a fork and knife, but you can do it with a spoon. And um, yeah, and then here I've got the local uh, bottled soda. Drinking a Sprite here and the Rajas. It's kind of like uh, made out of the same uh, chile that the chile rellenos were from. And these are called guisados. This is kind of like a stew. So if you notice, everything was juicy and yummy. And then now we're going to my other spot. I, I usually come here for either tacos, lonche, or what I'm gonna have today, which is the sopes. And they're very similar to the gorditas, but it's like a smaller version. It's also a very thick tortilla. And then you can see here, I'm having the al pastor with cheese. And um, al pastor is also pork, and then you have your different condiments and you've got a variety of hot sauces you could use so i'm just going to top these off the way i like you can either you know pop this underneath the tortilla but you'll see that it actually gets kind of soggy anyways once you load it up and it's all going into the same place which is my tummy so um, yeah this is the way i set these up and it's just delicious i mean you're going to see here that it's uh yeah, you can never have enough hot sauce, so <laughs> I go to town with the, the, the spicy and uh, yeah, the, the al pastor is just, you know, I think they do like a second grilling, so you, you saw it on that skewer, but then they uh, put it on a hot plate there and, and uh, fry it up a little bit more. And you can see the tortilla here is kind of soggy now, but yeah, all together it's just a delicious combo of that beef and, or that meat and cheese and then all the spices and veggies. It's just uh, unbelievable. And then this is uh, chilaquiles. So you could have this for breakfast or for lunch. I'm having it for lunch and I've got my uh, licuado de plátano. It's kind of like a uh, banana smoothie and the bolillo is the bread on the side. And then you can see here that chilaquiles are made out of tortilla chips with like an enchilada sauce and a, and a parmesan type cheese. And you got your frijoles and egg. And over here, I came to Taqueria Reforma for a, a lonche de carne asada. So this is, you know, a steak, a steak sandwich basically. And it's got, you know, a little avocado, lettuce, tomatoes, onions, and then, yeah, you can season it how you want. And you saw the little pink drink, that's horchata. And I have no idea why it's pink in Mexico and white in California, but. <laughs> That's the way things are. Then you have, again, your different condiments and I go straight for the hot sauce. So I'm just gonna load this up a little bit. And you'll notice right here on the side is that I ordered also uh, uh, a quesadilla that you'll see in just a second. But look at this sandwich. I mean, it's just perfect. So the sandwich, the quesadilla, the horchata, I mean, we're talking less than $5 for all this. And it's just, this is just like a no brainer place to go. And then what I do here is I just order the quesadilla, a plain one like this, sencilla, and all the meat that falls off my sandwich, I just load it up on the quesadilla when I'm done with eating the sandwich, and then I, I, and then I have this afterwards. And it's just, again, so, <laughs> so delicious. And then lastly here we've got tacos al vapor. And I had no idea what al vapor meant, but uh, it literally translates to vapor. But so think of it as steamed tacos. The tacos are already cooked up. You could get uh, with beans, potato, or chicharron. And um, I usually do the veggie. And I do like two de frijol, two de papa, or sometimes I might just do one chicharron. 
And then you can see here I came at a bad time. All the good stuff is gone. So I'm just going to put a little hot sauce. And usually they have some guacamole left over. And they have uh, a salsa, a chunky salsa with nopales that is just so delicious. And again, it's gone here. I came out a bad time. But uh, yeah, this is, people have this for breakfast and lunch too. And I usually just come here for lunch. I'm not big on eating tacos and things like this for breakfast, so uh, yeah, I, I usually miss out. Like even my place where I go for gorditas, sometimes if you go at noon, everything's gone. <laughs> so it's like, it kind of sucks. I don't, I don't have a craving for salty, uh, you know, early in the morning like that. And then here I'm going to my uh, my go-to spot to get a to get my soda or get a you know some kind of refreshment. And you can see, yeah, you know, the steamed tacos are kind of soft and, and a little bit soggy, especially when you add on the other stuff. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that.